Hello YouTubers, this is Stevie the Scotsman. I'm an ex-Royal Air Force avionics engineer and I keep these beater cars of mine on the road. Um, and I just want to um, walk you through diagnosis and some information here on what I went through to solve this issue on an 89 Escort. So the problem was that basically it would only work in one heat setting. Um, on this Escort, it's, prob it's actually a known problem where there's a resistor pack which just lives just under the passenger, under below the passenger seat here. You can see at the front there you got the blower motor and I've just removed the resistor pack which just lives up there. Um, the problem here actually turned out to be, um, there's a, a, the connections here are completely corroded going into that resistor pack. And um, you can see here that it's pretty much complete toast. So what I'm going to do is if I just bring up the old one here, just throw it down here for you guys to see it. So here's the old one. What I'm pretty much going to do is I just went to Menards, pay like a buck for some of these spade connectors. I'll probably just rip out that crimp, resolder that, put some dielectric grease. I'm pretty much just going to redo all these connectors. You know, there's no point in trying to clean them up or any of that, man. They are they're toast. They needed to be reconnected. So once I um, deal with those connectors um, and I, I'm actually just going to replace the part. I mean I could do resistance checks and see but you can see that this old one is pretty it's pretty corroded. I mean it's it's pretty much toast here. Um, I picked one up at AutoZone for like 16 bucks. It's a no-brainer. I'm just going to throw a new one in there. Why put this POS back in there? So what I want to do is basically explain to you guys um, the operation of this because I think a lot of people just go on forums like, oh, replace the resistor pack. They're like, okay, I want to give you an idea what's actually happened. I think the more of you have more of an understanding that you have, the better. So I've drawn some diagrams. Um, first of all, I want to preface it by saying I should probably put I am three at the bottom of some of these because um, I am not a designer. Um, I'm, a, I'm a technician. So, okay, okay. So the bottom line, guys, is that um, with these with these type of resistance with re, um, with these type of systems with resistors, pretty much um, you have a permanent 12 volt feed on the motor, um, and on the off position here, what you'll see is there'll be an open open circuit, and nothing's going to happen. Now, what happens when we go to low is that this switch here will go down, and it will go through a series of two of those resistors. Now, Ohm's law is um, v equals IR. Um, let me just bring in my little trusty sheet of paper here. So, I've put this down here, Ohm's law, V equals IR. And on a vehicle, obviously, the, the voltage is typically 12 volts, a little above that, let's just say 12 volts. So, basically, transposing it, current is voltage divided by resistance. And you can see, obviously, this little equation, as resistance increases, the current drops, which is pretty apparent. Now, what you see here is, um, I'm stating the obvious, well I'm actually not the obvious, but basically resistors and series can be added together. So on a system here where we have 12 volts and 2 resistors, 2 ohms and 2 ohms, you add those 2 in, in series and it will give us 4 ohms. So if there was 12 volts on this circuit and there was two, 2 ohm resistors in series, the current is going to be 12 divided by 2 plus 2, which is 12 divided by 4. This is actually going to give us 3 amps. Okay, so I'm hoping this is starting to make sense because as you guys can see, when you go to the low setting, you have the resistance here is going to increase and the current is going to drop and that blower is not going to blow as much. In the case of when we go to the medium here, sorry about this camera guys, this thing's on the way out, so I apologise. It's probably going to, look, the current's actually going to go through one resistor and um, the current is then actually going to increase. Now when you actually go to high, what typically happens guys, basically it just takes that 12 volt straight through the motor, straight to ground, um, and it will run at full speed. Um, as I said, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on here, because I think it's, it just, I think it's good to have an understanding of why you're replacing parts, you know, rather than just being a parts monkey and just throwing crap out there, you know, I see it time and time again on these forums, and I'm a big, big believer in diagnosis, and obviously, in this case, it's pretty apparent that um, the connector these connectors are completely toast, you know, and then obviously I'll replace the connectors and replace the part, but hopefully I've given you a little bit of understanding about what's actually going on here when you go to these different settings here on on this Escort, so I hope this has helped you guys. If it's helped one guy, hey, it's been worth my Saturday afternoon, it really has. Um, as per normal, if you've liked the video, 
then, you know what? Send me a buck to helpinhumble.org. Me and the missus run this organisation. I just try and help people who are not lazy, for example. People who have maybe been laid off. They've got a couple of kids. They're in between jobs. We go and get them something from the... Or a 20 bucks certificate from the grocery store. Get them some food. I don't give them any money to lazy people. So, I hope this has helped you. This is Stevie the Current. Stevie, Stevie Scotsman signing off. So, all the best. Take care. Cheers.